This is our picture of our completed Marie costume. To begin her transformation costume, she takes it all off except for the brown skirt, which she leaves on the bottom. The cape is wrapped around her waist with a Velcro tie. Next, she puts a hoop on that has a flap. Here's the flap. On top of that, she puts her fairy godmother dress and her wand. The girls are getting ready here. Nikki is going to begin to wrap the ball gown up with the hoop. The hoop and the dress are being wrapped up together. The fairy godmother helps her wrap it up and hold it tight. They bring the flap up and tuck it into the top of her bodice to cover up her sparkles. The flap that you see hanging down below the waist, that was just extra fabric because I had that white yoke on the brown skirt which showed. Next, they take the dress and the hoop and they kind of wrap and pack it up together tight against her back. Then they bring the cape up and she slips her arms into it. There will be a hump on her back, but we pre-set that idea by having her wear a heavy vest under her first costume. She brings the hood up, which has a little bit of fake hair that matches her own that covers the front. Okay, and then if you want to do a slow motion kind of demo like you did before of how, to, how you take it off. Pretend to bring Wanda because we didn't put it back in. Yes. Very good. Oh, and here's Marie. the show. In order to do that, you would have to be a fairy godmother. hump from Marie. It was made from an old bumper pad from a crib. It gives her a little bulk around the shoulders and the back so that when she does her transformation her lump isn't quite so noticeable. Thanks for watching our video. We hope this helps in your transformation. More information is found at costumecraze.me.